I'm Georgie and this is your Week in Tech. London-based startup Movebubble has received £1.1 million. The startup seeks to find renters a home by offering real-time help through its app and has raised £2.36 million of funding to date. British cyber security company SafeToNet has landed £3 million in capital and resources from Dewclaw Ventures, a Swift-based investment firm. The company, based in Reading, develops technology to help protect social media and social network users from online abuse. Mobile first challenger bank Mondo has landed £5 million in funding from Passion Capital, which also invested £2 million in the company last year. Researchers at Google have uncovered a major computer bug that could affect hundreds of thousands of devices. The security flaw has been found in an open source library of code called Glibic, which allows hackers remote access and control to a device. While the extent of the problem is still not yet unknown, Google and security engineers at Red Hat have released a patch to try and fix it. The FBI have asked Apple to build a backdoor access to the iPhone. It comes after the FBI wished to investigate the San Bernardino case, a terrorist attack which took place last December. In a letter to their customers, Apple promised that they would not undermine the security of users' phone at the request of the FBI and wished to highlight the issue for public debate. Opening up the iPhone would leave devices and personal data more vulnerable to cyber criminals and hackers. Apple warned their customers that the government's request was a threat to the liberty of American citizens. Our download of the week is Charge App. Charge App will let you know when your battery is running low and where the nearest charging point is so you don't need to carry your charger with you. It works on all Android and Apple devices and you even get discounts from some major retailers. And finally, car giant Nissan has developed robotic office chairs that tie themselves away when people simply clap their hands. This smart furniture was in fact a byproduct of the company developing self-driving car technology and at the moment they don't have any plans to sell them. Either way, Mary Poppins would be proud. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.